If you're building a bubble app that uses OpenAI text generation to give a chat GPT like experience to your users, then this video is for you because I'm going to be addressing one of the key irritations, frustrations, things that work wastes endless time uh, when trying to get OpenAI to work with Bubble and that is getting a reliably structured response back and that's become a whole lot easier with the latest updates to the OpenAI API including JSON mode and in this Bubble tutorial video I'm going to be diving into that but before I do you should check out our website planetnoco.com slash mastery because we are setting up for an exclusive mentorship program to take you from an idea to a fully fledged SaaS application uh, with experts plenty of help uh, more details can be found at planetnoco.com slash mastery but let's dive into this tutorial here JSON mode basically affects the format of the response that comes back from OpenAI. And I've got that set up in the API connector here. Now I'm jumping in a little bit into the deep end. This will require some background knowledge on how the OpenAI API works. We've got plenty of videos on that, so do go and check out our library uh, if you're unsure how to get to this point. But effectively, all I've done is taken a normal OpenAI API call and uh, made sure that I'm using the, one of the latest models where I've got that from is uh, where where did I get that from? It is uh, yeah here here. So so I've got to be using one of the the models that supports it because JSON mode is brand new. Um, so make sure you're using one of those supported models. And then I've added this type JSON object uh, as a response format parameter uh, into the API call and. Uh, I've got a demo here and it's basically saying you are a movie recommendation bot to reply with just a JSON object. Now it's important that you instruct the, the system or at least in somewhere in your messages you say it has to reply in JSON. And then I say using the following parameters, title, director, recommendation, reason. And then I say I love Inception, please recommend a similar film and why. Let's get rid of this response here and initialize the call and have a look at exactly what format we get back. Uh, so we get, uh, okay, so we do get it back in JSON and it's broken up by line there. Now, that's not great for my demonstration because actually that is a really helpful response. Um, perhaps let me, uh, let me demonstrate. If we just say uh, reply with the following parameters. Basically what I'm trying to demonstrate is in a way to dictate a set format that comes back. And I've not done that very well so far, if I'm honest, but let's, let's try this. So this is perhaps where you could start with. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's no JSON in the content here. It is simply using a line break. So you have title, memento on one line, and then backslash n means line break. And in all of the previous bubble and open AI, uh, tutorial videos that I've done so far, um, this is basically as good as you could get. And I was instructing people to use the split by. So split by line space or split by title colon space will enable you to separate out the title and save it into a field. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can use JSON mode to ensure that you extract only the exact point you mean without having to do all the split by elements. So let me just put back in what I had. So I'm instructing it to re reply with a JSON object and I'm going to put back in the response format. And now if I initialize the call and look at the raw data, <coughs> I get back a lovely bit of JSON. However, Bubble will not allow me in the API connector. Okay, if, if, if anyone's got a workaround for this, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear it. But the fact is that Bubble still treats this as plain text because it's got all of these escaped characters in it. So I can't just go up here and say message content and, and it's not picking up that it is a JSON object and so I can't target the exact fields here. Now I'll scratch my head a bit on this I had a look through the plugin directory and I found a solution. Let me show you what I've got. So uh, I've got on my design page, I've simply got a button that runs that API call. I'm not even bothering to change that. I, my, the film that I love is Inception. Uh, I'm simply running uh, my API call here saying, I love Inception, please recommend a similar film. And then I've installed a plugin uh, called JSON Manipulator. And that enables me in the workflow 
to say take the result and target a specific parameter. Now where am I setting up these parameters because I need to target them precisely? Well I'm setting them up because I'm listing them out here and OpenAI is, in clever, is, is, is clever enough to identify them and put them into the response. And so I basically got one targeting the title, targeting the director and targeting recommended reason. And then I can create my movie item in my database and so I can say result of step two which is the title, step three which is the director and step four which is the why. And then if I run my app, it's really quick and if I go into my database and my movies can see here that it's added it in and it's all perfectly matched up and so this I would say is a better method than having to do split by I mean we, we've got plenty of split by videos with open AI available and, and I'm sure there are still use cases for that but you want something that is reliable to your users and I don't think you can get more reliable than dictating the JSON structure that is replied extracting out the different parts as I've shown using the JSON manipulator plugin uh, and then saving it to your database so there you go. If you've got any questions on this or you've got any thoughts, maybe maybe this is all brand new. I mean, OpenAVI only set out these updates a few days ago. If there's a better way to do this, leave a comment below. If you'd like to see any videos on any particular bubble topics, OpenAI, whatever, leave a comment below. We read every single one. And if you're learning bubble, uh, there's no best place to go than planetnocode.com where you can find hundreds of bubble tutorial videos, even more than we've got on YouTube. And if you're stuck, you can reach out to me directly and we can set up a one-to-one -one coaching call and work through your bubble app together, collaborating, smoothing out your development process and accelerating the launch of your app.